Are you wondering what it's like if you head west out of the Flathead Valley? In this video, we'll take a little tour west of Kalispell and hit the little town of Marion and a couple of lakes that are right in between. All right, so I climbed all the way up this mountain to give you a better view of Montana. So the least you can do is subscribe to our channel. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell and you'll be notified every time we make a new video about Montana. So let's take a look at the map as we head west out of Kalispell. We'll be on Highway 2 and we'll go through Kyla, Marion, and we'll look at Little, little Bitterroot Lake and Ashley Lake. And as you can see, the road out of Kalispell uh, is just a two-lane highway and it goes all the way west to the the border of Idaho but uh, eventually you'll hit Libby but kind of in between Kalispell and Libby there really isn't a whole bunch I'll show you here the little town of Marion as you can see has got a you know a gas station a little cafe a bar restaurant that you can see here on the left and there's just not a whole bunch going on in Marion but it's a nice little area pretty spot um, you kind of come up this big hill uh, before you get into Marion there, but as you can see, there's just there's not a lot of uh, big city conveniences here in Marion. There are three different uh, subdivisions that will go by that are pretty nice. The first one right here is Country Born Estates, and uh, it, they're still building some homes in there. There are still a few lots available, but. In this subdivision, most of the lots are right around one acre. And the, a couple of recent sales here in the Country Born uh, Estates. Uh, this past year, we had a sale of one place sold for $380 and another one sold for $485. And as we continue west, you'll go past the Marion Post Office, which makes it an official town. And then we get up to our next uh, subdivision that you'll see right here as we go in on our left. This is the Meadowbrook subdivision. And this subdivision has uh, much bigger lots than the Country Born subdivision. And as you can see, it's, you know, very well treed and great views and uh, fence fences along the roads. It's a, it's a very nice subdivision here in Marion and there's nothing available in there right now except one lot. Uh, and then the third subdivision I wanted to show you is out here along the highway. This subdivision is called Cabin Creek Landing. And the cool thing about this that you'll see in a minute is you have all these lots that are right down this long road here off to your right. Uh, and then it's, it borders this little airport. So if you have your own plane, you can park it right in your backyard and take off and fly right out of the Marion International Airport. And then on the west side of Marion, we come to the big attraction, and that would be Little Bitterroot Lake, or Bitterroot Lake. And it is a 2,900-acre lake, and it has an average depth of 114 feet. So there's plenty of good fishing out here. Um, it all... It, freezes over most of the time in the winter. It's one of the few lakes around here that does, so there's a lot of ice fishing. And as you can see, I'll just do a little tour here. There's cabins uh, all around the lake, and occasionally they'll come up for sale. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll show you some of the prices of the lake homes. But I just wanted to give you a little idea of what some of these cabins look like around Bitterroot Lake. If you get down to the far end, there's some bigger kind of legacy type estates but uh, those cabins that I just showed you are pretty much what it looks like around there and as we head back towards Kalispell from Marion we'll go up Ashley Lake Road and it's a gravel road and beautiful country back here that you know there's really no cell service out here and you go past these ranch lands and ranch areas and then you'll come to Ashley Lake which is also a very good sized lake and the cool thing about Ashley Lake is look at the color. I mean, when the sun hits that lake in the summer or in the uh, daytime, it's just this turquoise. It, it's there's a few lakes around here that are like this, but Ashley Lake has always to me seemed like the 
the most turquoise of all of them around here. So if you ever get a chance, check that out. It's just a beautiful lake, and these are some of the homes around it. And as you can see on our MLS map here, uh, there's only 16 places for sale right now. Uh, the day I took this tour, and this covers every every area I went, this whole area right here is what we just drove through. And as you can see here, the the higher priced ones down at the bottom of this list are the ones that are on the different lakes. And the, the big high dollar one is actually a huge ranch that's outside of Kyla. Uh, it's like 1,100 acres, so that's why that that one is so highly priced. So as you see at the top of the list, there's still a couple homes that are fairly affordable, but even in Marion, it, the amazing thing is that in that whole area, there's only 16 homes for sale right now, which is crazy. It used to be there was all kinds of things for sale up in that area, but uh, just like everywhere else, we're very short on inventory. And our final stop on our trip here is the little town of Kyla and as you can see they have an elementary school here and that's pretty much it there's not really any stores or much else in Kyla this is about uh, six miles west of Kalispell on Highway 2. Uh, the one cool thing about Kyla is they have this bike trail and you can take this trail all the way back into the town of Kalispell it follows the old railroad tracks. Thank you for watching our video please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.